Oh. Eventually, we were smelling smoke. Yeah, everyone was. And uh, eventually, smoke. seeing smoke as well. Hey guys! So today we decided to make a bit of a different video and tell you about the stories behind our Instagram photos. So to give you a little context, we started our Instagram account in 2018 to share the, the photos of our travels and it was mainly our drone photos because it was a bit of a novelty back then. But eventually we decided to share also our normal camera photos, I guess. So it was a bit tricky to select a few photos um, to share today, but if you like the video, we'll make a second part. Yeah, so let's start with the first photo. So this one was taken in the Mekong River and uh, it's with a cute Vietnamese hat, as you can see. And um, the fun story behind, it's not actually how we took the photo, but the trip uh, to take the photo. <laughs> So we were supposed to, the trip was supposed to take us um, not long uh, than one hour, but it actually took us three hours. So so we were going from Ho Chi Minh City to, to, the river. to the river by bus. By bus, yeah. And along the way the driver started pulling over because probably was something wrong with the bus and he wasn't able to fix uh, whatever was wrong with the bus. Yeah, and we so, eventually we were smelling smoke. Yeah, everyone was uh, and eventually smoke. seeing smoke as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so the driver decided, okay, so we'll, I'll call for help and we had to wait for the second bus to um, grab us in the middle of the highway, I think. Yeah. And... I mean, it took a while, it's like it one, took a while. an hour at least. Yeah. It was raining and I mean people started to get out of the bus in the middle of the highway because we, we didn't know what was going on, if it was dangerous or not. Yeah, to stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually we all went back to the bus and wait because it was raining and cold even though it was in Vietnam. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we reach uh, the river, well, at least the area or the uh, of the river and everything went really well, so we visit like some sort of a farm and um, yeah, yeah. the way that they were but, supposed to live there. But for us to get there, we had to cross the river with yeah, a boat. With a boat. And guess what? The boat broke again. Yeah. <laughs> Not again, like uh, it was the second uh, equipment, let's call it that yeah. way, that was... Second uh, thing that broke. That broke. In the middle of a trip. Again, the driver, a, a different driver, uh, yeah. decided to have a look on the motor. He wasn't able to fix it, <laughs> so he had to uh, ask for help. Yeah. So, in the we middle of the river... pulled by a different boat in the we middle of the river. <laughs> pulled by another boat. Quite funny because yeah, people everyone... were laughing because I mean, what are the odds, right? Yeah, and it it was part of the journey, and uh, everyone started laughing and yeah. talking with each other. So yeah, it was maybe cool. maybe it was their way of breaking the ice between the passengers. <laughs> yeah, and um, everyone was kind of chilled. Everyone yeah. was on holiday anyway, right? Yeah. So yeah, the rest of the trip was was nice. Yeah, it was really nice to spend yeah, it time Yeah, it didn't, it didn't ruin the trip, it just made it funnier, lengthier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so moving on for yeah, the second Yeah, so picture. the second picture we selected, it was taken in Melbourne, in a place called the Princess Pier, which is an old pier, like the rem remnants of an uh, old pier. And uh, we took this picture with a drone, obviously. And uh, well, as soon as I was, like, as I turned on the, the drone, there was a magnetic interference, and like I, I moved a bit to the side to figure out if I could like avoid it, but it didn't go away. So I flew anyways, and I mean it went well till the minute I was landing, and when the drone just gained life and was like flying away. <laughs> Yeah. And almost hit the, the, the water boat. and almost drowned. I just had time like to pull the, the stick up so it could go higher and to put 
even if we put back towards us and safely land, but it was a bit of a nerve wreck. And quite scary because it was, first of all, our first drone. <laughs> yeah. And we just got it. So Yeah, we got it to the trip <laughs> to Vietnam. And yeah, to lose uh, yeah, that amount quite of money. Yeah, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> was a little bit scary for us. <laughs> yeah, there's footage because I didn't have time to stop the footage. So, which is a good thing because we can share it with you. And yeah, for your own entertainment. <laughs> now we can laugh about it. Yeah, now we laugh about it. But <laughs> uh, at the time, yeah. Was, uh, well, I, I, would, I wouldn't be telling the story if we had lost the drone. But... Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Because we wouldn't have the picture yeah, anyway. We, we didn't have the picture of the footage. <laughs> that's, yeah. for, that's for sure. Okay, so our third picture, it's um, around our viral photo. It's not, it doesn't have a fun story behind it, but because it was, it was and still is viral uh, in our yeah, Instagram. seem to love this photo. Yeah, it deserves to, to be featured in this video. Yeah. So yeah, so we were in Thailand, and uh, it was when the Maya Bay was closed for environmental reasons. Mm -hmm. So we decided not to go to the PP Islands because there's no point of going there if we can't see Maya Bay. Yeah, we had already one day booked for uh, those Maya islands. Ba yeah, but, but we, we decided okay, yeah, let's cancel it. and uh, let's find something else. And I found the Hong Islands would be a, a good option. Yeah, they're not so, as known as um, the PP Islands, yeah. and there's no many tourists there as well. So we booked a tour. We we seen like three islands on that yeah, day. Yeah, they, they so it was a full day trip, and um, they, sh they 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 show us quite a few islands, probably three or four islands, and. Uh, the biggest one was uh, this picture, yeah. and war signs everywhere. I think this everywhere. is the Ong Island. The, even, maybe, even, yeah. even though like all the islands around it, they call it the Ong Islands, but yeah. they all have different names. Yeah, and on this one, uh, on this particular one, there were a lot of signs saying not to fly the drone, <laughs> and even though there yeah, but were we took a chance. <laughs> the signs, we just went to a small corner and, yeah, uh, and we decided. Yeah, the drone like the. It was our first drone, it was still the same drone that I almost drowned in Melbourne. Uh, yeah. But it's, it was at uh, DJI Spark and it's very small so we pulled it off, nobody noticed and we got the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was viral. <laughs> and it was viral. Yeah, meant to be um, viral. We're not saying that uh, everyone should do this, but no, uh, just follow the rules uh, because uh, yeah. it can get really I mean, complicated. If you're in Thailand, get, get insurance and because they, they make you get an insurance for the drone and some permission that never came back but I mean you better say sorry I'll, 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 I'll end it as soon as, soon possible, as possible than not flying it right <laughs> <laughs> well at least at the time we thought that would be the yeah. best approach <laughs> yeah yeah um, yeah and then we got the picture um, and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the next photo will be. Um, do you want me to speak of, of, about uh, the photo taken here in Australia oh, yeah. as well? Yeah. So the next photo was, as I said, uh, taken here in Australia, and uh, we were going to do a trip uh, from a Perth, trip. a road trip from Perth to Exmouth. For people that don't know, this is uh, in Western Australia, a different state. Yeah, and it's quite um, a big trip. And most of most of the time, you, I mean, there, there's so many little cities. Uh, there's so few little cities that most of the time you just yeah, see just nothing. There, there's not driving. Yeah, yeah, just driving in the middle of uh, the landscape, in the middle of nowhere. And they warned us because, especially at night. There's risks of you hitting a kangaroos or emus. Yes, yeah, so ne we never saw emu before. Mm, yeah, we knew probably uh, our chance to see an emu was pretty high. Yeah, um, we our finger with fingers crossed to see one. And I think in, on the second day we spotted some cars uh, parked in like in, a, in the left, uh, at the side, left of side of the road. road. 
and we and people decided are taking to pull... pictures and we eventually saw the big bird yeah we decided to pull our uh, van as well and do the same <laughs> uh, i stayed in the car and francisco decided i'll go outside yeah, I'll take some pictures take the camera yeah safely because they're they're big birds and they have sharp claws mm, yeah and he took uh, this picture yeah, here and a few more i think that those were the best ones i think yeah probably and um yeah so the fun story about this one was actually uh, that the birds it got interacted with us <laughs> yeah well, it can, it, with our trunk at least <laughs> yeah it was like putting his beak in the trunk of our um, of our van, of our van. probably was smelling some food yeah some food because it was a road trip so we had food in the back of our van yeah yeah it's quite scary because they're big birds big birds and they say uh, to to be respectful yeah um, but at least careful. we saw it and I mean we interacted yeah. a bit with him it wasn't dangerous but I mean I didn't felt like I was in danger or I, I was endangering the bird oh, on the yeah. contrary because I mean we were warning and people were warning like the drivers passing by to, to just slow down over. at least or mm -hmm. to over mm -hmm. Yeah, at least to uh, wait until the birds uh, yeah, got away safe. from the, the road. Yeah. And yeah, after this episode, everyone just eat the, yeah. the road again and uh, happy days. <laughs> yeah, we we saw like a few more emus, but yeah, it's not in the, the middle of the road. The yeah, just like road. in the middle of the landscape. Yeah, minding their own business. <laughs> yeah, just doing their own life, Yeah, um, their own thing. Um, yeah, and I mean the last photo we have to share with you was taken in Bali and it was the second time we went to Bali and we were hoping to see a, uh, a black sand beach that was is located in the north of the island mm -hmm. and the way you, I mean if you haven't been there, the way you, you travel around Bali is by hiring a driver and they take you like where, everywhere you want to go and on this day we were close to that part of the island, like to see a temple and uh, we decided to ask him to, to go to the Black Sand Beach but he was yeah. very reluctant on going because like the roads are not as good there and it was raining on that day as well so yeah, you so can it was imagine like, oh, no I don't want to go but we insisted I'm going to take this photo, come on, let's go man <laughs> and he, he eventually said yes but I mean, it took us like a good hour to get there, and the roads I mean, were a were little bit more <laughs> flooded. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, if something happens, it's my fault because I was insisting so much with him. But yeah. I mean, we eventually got there. We took the picture. We flew the drone. It was beautiful there. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, the landscape is uh, mesmerizing. But then eventually we got back. When we got back, and we decided to find the driver. Um, yeah, he was already making friends yeah, he was in the middle of a, <laughs> of a house. Uh, yeah, <laughs> eating corn, drinking tea or coffee. Yeah, tea or coffee. And, uh, well, we joined them as yeah, well. Yeah, we joined them, <laughs> we ate with them. It was quite nice. We didn't understand much of the, what they were saying. They were probably like making fun of us. I mean, because we wanted to see and <laughs> see like apartment now, just take a photo. Yeah. How odd is that? I mean, Instagram days, I guess. Yeah, tourists. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it was fun and... Uh, yeah, and we interacted with them. We never get the chance to interact with uh, Yeah, locals. it's not often that it, this happens. Yeah, and it was good to have a different day outside of uh, the busy city. Yeah, it's definitely more secluded there. Less people, less tourists. Yeah, hopefully we'll get back there one day. Yeah. And Maybe we'll find the same guys. <laughs> <laughs> we still have his uh, number. Yeah, so. <laughs> still have some messages on my WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, just let us know. And if, if you have any funny picture on any your... Any funny stories. Uh, yeah, any funny stories uh, on I, I, your I, Instagram. I bet you have funny pictures. <laughs> but if you have funny stories, let us know in the comments. Yeah. And if you like this type of content, let us know as well so we can make a second part. Mm -hmm. And hit the thumbs up button so the algorithm uh, shares this video with more people. Subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, and yeah. see you next time. See you next time. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.
Era Fénix. Não sei estrela. Temos de ver alguma vez que vamos dizer assim, ah, não é estrela deste vídeo, deste, deste YouTube é o Frederick. Frederick! Miau! Não, não, não.